It's so true. You learn something every day. Here's one for you. Did you know that Irish banks no longer offer a safe deposit box service? Well, I didn't. So what do you do if you want to secure your valued possessions? My first guest of the week has stepped into the breach. I'm delighted to welcome Seamus Fahey from Merry and Vols to the show. Seamus, good to see you. Thank you. Thanks very much for joining me. Now, that's news to me, first off. I honestly thought this was... The banks were there and, you know, if you had something valuable, you could deposit it. When did they pull back from this? Sure. A a number of years ago, in fact. I I set up a diamond business about five years ago uh, called Voltaire Diamonds. And, you know, I was storing kind of large amounts of valuables in in my collection. And I was used to having a safe deposit box when I worked in London. So I contacted, you know, all the major banks here saying I want to store my stock at night. And none of them would offer the service. In the past, traditionally, they did. You'd go in and with your, your bag of documents or whatever valuables you had and they'd store them. But in the last number of years, they've withdrawn that safekeeping service. It's gone completely. So you spotted, uh, obviously then, a, an opportunity in the market. But something that would take a little bit of time, I, I take it, to put together. Yeah, yeah. Well, we, we were actually working on it for about three years. So we're actually open now 12 months. And thankfully, there's huge demand for this service. But yeah, prior to, to opening, we needed to find the right location, make sure, you know, we, we were close to certain services in case of an emergency. Um, and obviously, security is paramount. You're in the city centre, so an obvious place. Dublin, the heart of the capital, is a good place to be in terms of business and accessibility in Ireland. Um, when you, when you get a place like this, first of all, you have to have a strong building and a very secure building. And then, of course, you have to secure that with systems and people. Yep. You have all that combined. Absolutely. We, we, we liaised with uh, Lloyds of London, who are our insurers, and they gave us a specification that they required for such a facility. So it's a purpose-made vault. So the, the, the vault was actually made in Germany, assembled in our basement, and it's, it's literally state-of-the-art. You know, it includes biometric access, facial recognition, pin and swipe cards, and obviously, you know, it's, 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 it's latest technology. You uh, are in this business, you know, you've been in the diamond business and the security and that and know all about it. But for for me or for the ordinary Joe on the street, man or woman or whatever, why would I need, uh, you know, a, a box with you to secure? Yeah, well, 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 the good thing about our service is, number one, it's very affordable. You know, our standard box only costs €199 Euros per annum. And what are people putting in their boxes? We never know what clients store in their boxes. There's total privacy. And within the vault itself, there's private uh, viewing rooms where there's no cameras. But we do know, you know, from chatting to people and and obviously, uh, you know, people from time to time do tell us what they're putting in in their boxes. And it tends to be cash, jewellery, family heirlooms, title deeds, gold and silver bullion. And, and, and the big benefit is that if, if you store those valuables with us and you inform your insurance company that you're storing them out of the home now, your home contents premium plummets. It actually drops by more than the cost of the box. So you're actually saving money by storing your valuables with us. You say that you don't know what's in it, but surely there has to be a record somewhere because if I put in an, a certain amount, say, of cash, number one, and it's yeah. opened up, and, you yeah. know, I need to know that that amount of cash is there. There's an inventory or a system? No, no. well, once again, we don't know what's in your box. Now, there are prohibited items that you're not allowed to put in your box. For example, drugs, firearms, mm. liquids. Mm. But what you put in your box after that, we will never it's know. It's private, and that's it. It goes in there and, uh, you know, but I'm just saying, I know there is no chance of this happening, yeah. but you don't have have a, a running order, so to speak, of what's there. No, and, people, and, we, and we have no access to your box. And that's the way it works with any of these systems in any other country yeah. as well. It's, it's the it, same it, worldwide. It's, it's a dual key system, which you've probably seen in the movies lots yes. of times. So we've a master key for one of the locks, and you have your unique key for your lock. So we need both keys to open your box. Ah, so I see it can't be opened at any time unless no. actually you're there. Nobody can get near it. Good to know that. Cash, I'm interested because with the crash yeah. and the worry about the banks, I know you don't know in detail, but I'm only thinking I'd say there are probably some people who withdrew a, a block of cash and put it into your place. Oh, without a doubt. You know, but a, a, about two years back there, there was, a, you know, the Greek bailout and the Cypriot bailout. You know, you could not get a safe deposit box in both those countries at that time. And even in recent weeks, there was a run on a Bulgarian bank two weeks ago. Even late last week, there was rumours that a Portuguese bank was about to go bankrupt and there was a run on that bank. So, you know, it's, it, it, it really, if, if you have cash in the bank, you know, some people see it as a hedge. You know, God forbid the banks do fail. But if they do, at least they have a nest egg stored somewhere else. 
And you talk about uh, Greece and Cyprus and Portugal. Do you have clients from abroad that use your facilities here in Ireland? We do indeed. We, we, we advertise abroad. You know, and obviously we're targeting the Irish community abroad as well. You know, so there's a lot of people who, Irish people, who work abroad and they like to have valuable stored in, in the old sod. You talk about items there that I just, in my mind, as you mentioned them, they're not bulky or big or that. What about art or big pieces of art or other collector's yeah. items that are big ticket? Sure. We, we've just launched, actually, in the last month, our walk-in vault service. So it's, 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 uh, the, the rooms themselves are, you know, five feet by five feet, ten feet high. So we are actually um, finding customers now who are storing fine art or larger valuables. You know, you may be refurbishing a home and you have a lot of artwork at home. Instead of leaving it in the house while, while the whole uh, house is being renovated, you store it with us for a three-month period. So it's uh, it's there now and it's yep. available to, to people if, if they want to use it. You said firearms, drugs, anything else you won't store? Liquids and gases. But that's pretty much it. Mm. After that, the sky's the limit. Yep. Uh, are items insured? If I leave something with you, how does insurance work? Yeah, well, as, as I mentioned, the whole facility is insured with Lloyds of London. Now, included in that price, that standard box, €199 Euros per annum, there's complimentary insurance of €10,000. Now, if you want to purchase additional insurance, you can for a nominal fee. You know, you can insure your box up to €150,000 if you so require. So that facility is is available. In an emergency, let's think uh, about a scenario where on a Saturday my six numbers come up in the lotto. And we often heard in the past where banks would open or a bank manager would be contacted to take the ticket, sure. put it in safekeeping until early in the week when people would get to the lottery offices. Do you take lottery tickets? Do you feel that's been part of your business? I'm, I'm, sure, I'm sure it is, but we will never know what's in a customer's box. You know, so if they are putting lottery tickets in there, we'll never know that. But if I have no account with you, I'm thinking, and I suddenly find myself in this scenario, and you tell me the banks won't take it, and I'm really nervous about this ticket, yep. can I contact you and open an account quickly and, and have a box made available straight away? Absolutely. It takes 15 minutes to, to, to register with us, and you can have access to your box immediately. That is, that's good to know that, because uh, hopefully someday for somebody listening today, it will be a situation that arises, yeah. and they will need you, and you are there for that. In terms of the the security and insurance, etc., coming back to security, can a government uh, office, an officer of the government, or the guardy, or someone in authority, uh, make you open up a box that they can examine? We, we we will open only open up a box if we've got a valid court order. Other than that, nobody has access to our facility. So you you really do have to go and look for that. It's to that degree before you would, and if you do that. You know, you mentioned there are two keys there to me earlier on. One mm -hmm. for the client and you have one key and you have to get both keys. Will I have to come in and open up the box under observation from the if, law? Well, if, 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 if the, 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 there's a valid court order yeah. and, and the customer isn't there, we'd probably have to break open the box. You'd have to but, do that. But thankfully, it hasn't happened. OK, yet. it hasn't happened to you so far, but it, but it is there if they wanted to do it. I'm here today. I have a box with you, uh, Seamus, for a number of years. And God forbid I pass away or something happens to me that I'm not able to, you know, um, go back and open up the box or get access to it. What sure. happens in that case? Well, we, we advise all customers to include it in, in their will, you know, that they have a safe deposit box with Marion Vaults. You know, as well as that, if you take a box with us, you can add up to two people to your box. So you could add, add next of kin or, or a partner or whatever. So, so other people do uh, know that you have a box. But if, if you didn't want anyone knowing you had a box, our advice is put it in your will. And will that person have a key or uh, access to a key if they are if they are specific in that in their will to you? Will they then be able to access a key in no, that circumstances? It, it, in a circumstance like that, the executors to their estate would contact us. Mm. And and then there's a whole process we go through until we get the, the official kind of probate and then we release the goods. What are the benefits to me to have a safety deposit box with you besides putting what I have and I value and treasure into it to keep it safe? Are there any other benefits? Well, the, the, the benefits are, you know, some some items of value are just cannot be replaced. So you might have family heirlooms, you know, you might have your great grandmother's wedding ring. 
you know, and God forbid there's a burglary in your house, that's the first thing the thieves will go for, small items that they can carry away quickly. So, you know, there's some items that, that you would want to store with us for sentimental reasons. And as well as that, the big benefit is your home contents insurance plummets and you've got peace of mind. The one area of crime that's increasing at the moment in Ireland and the CSO statistics backed uh, this up last week, aggravated burglaries. When people, when thieves arrive at your home and, you know, they want you in the home because that's when you'll identify exactly where the safe is, etc. And we hear horror stories from clients who have come into us 24 hours after being subjected to an aggravated burglary. And it's scary stuff. You're fireproof. Yep. The vaults as well, in case anything happened there from that point of view. But in terms of insurance, so your house insurance will decrease with all these high worth items not on your premises. Absolutely. That's a big benefit in itself. Because of our security pr- uh, procedures and the security we have in place, yeah, the, the home contents premium plummets when you remove those items from your home policy. Are you conscious of being more secure yourself? You mean the man and there are other people working there as well and you're responsible for quite a valuable amount of possessions in Mary and Vault. Is there... Oh, I, well, yeah, my, my background as a jeweller would, would have kind of have me trained 24-7 to, to, to be kind of looking after my own security. But the security of all the staff and we've protocols in place to protect everyone. The vault, when it is closed, it's, it's time-locked. You know, so that the, the, there's no security issues there. And if somebody is interested in finding out more information or getting in touch with you, get, to get in touch with you about this, how would they? What's the easiest way to find yeah, out more? Murrayandvaults.ie is our website and our phone number is Dublin 254-7900. Are you the only one in Ireland offering this service or are there others? We're, we're, we're the, the only purpose-built safe deposit box facility in the country. You are at this yeah. point in time. God, you have a USP, really. Thank you so much for joining me on the show today because it was something, as I said, I spotted it. I never thought that this wasn't offered generally by the banks anymore. And wish you well and success with the business going forward. Seamus Fahey from Merrion Vaults. Thank you for joining me on the show today.